all those at uh, Robert Fisher's table and Sue Patterson's table for not having Russ Ballard there or Anthony Scott when you sit at your tables. Um, and so I need them later in the, in the session and they're not here. So, pay up. But first up, I'm going to give this agricultural literacy and I'm going to use 1990 as a reference point for measuring things. And it's very important to remember 1990 because that's when New Zealand was really a market economy and all our agricultural literacy really flows on, on from that. But first, first one, one really interesting question about New Zealand is, is what's, our, what's our population grown since 1990? Has it grown by 5%, 15 20 or 30%? Hands up all those who think 5%. 15%? Yeah. Okay, you're fine. It's money in the box. 20%? Fine. Money in the box. 30%. The actual answer is 32%, and we're up here with Indonesia. Uh, the USA is growing about 26%, China's 19%. Um, interestingly, China's growing about one and a half times the New Zealand population a year at the moment. France is about 12%, Germany, so all the established countries much lower growth in Germany down at 3%. Um, that's an important fact that all those have big impacts on agriculture and markets. They're all stories in themselves about where we, keep in mind, we export 90% of what we produce in New Zealand. The next question is um, just looking at um, where our export receipts come from. In agriculture, how much have they increased from 1990 to 2013? Agriculture has increased 16 billion. Looking at the right hand column, forestry 2.8 billion. Both of those about 190% increase. In our services sector, we all talk about services growing. Services are things like you know computer software, consulting services overseas, tourism, all that sort of stuff, inbound tourists coming in. And have they increased by 5.6 billion? Any takers? One, you're fined. 9.6 uh, billion? Any takers? You're right, all the rest pay. <laughs> So there we are, 9.6 billion. So uh, it's just the point there that agriculture is still a huge growth engine in the economy. And uh, you've got to grow these other ones at a hell of a rate to uh, make up. So we need growth from, the message is we need growth from everywhere in our economy. Third question is agriculture export receipts, okay. They increased 190% since 1990. Um, did our pasture area, because we've had this increase, in, did we increase our pasture area? Has it stayed the same or have we decreased it decreased since 1990? Decreased it. Decreased it. Okay, if you thought otherwise, pay up, because the answer is we've decreased our pasture land 18% since 1990. We've lost a lot of stuff out into the dock estate, stuff that you could farm up to subsidies, gone back into scrub and rubbish, and we've had this huge push out onto the better country as cities expanding with our population increase. So all these are huge things that sort of run into our uh, sort of where we go. Fourth question, um, pasture areas decreased 18%. But so how much of our dairy cows increased? Um, 20%? Any takers? 30%? Any takers? 50%? Any takers? Yep, pay up. 90%. <laughs> The actual answer is 89%, near enough to 90%. So we've now got 5.1 million dairy cows, that's 1.2 cows for every person in New Zealand. Okay, I won't worry about beef cattle. Just down to the bottom, just to keep up with time, uh, sheep numbers have decreased by um, 23%, 47% or 60%. 47, you've got it, nailed on, spot on. Okay, so we now have we now have 6.9 sheep for every person in the country. Back in 1990, we had 17.3 sheep for every person. How's that compared to Australia? Uh, can't think of that at the moment. Fifth question: Sheep numbers have declined 47 percent. How much has lamb production decreased because of that? Because lamb's a big export in our sheep industry. Has it decreased 7 percent? Any takers? Yep. Everybody else pay up. It's decreased 7%. And it's really only gone down 7% because we've had fantastic productivity increases out of our sheep. We've got more used bull per lamb and much heavier lambs produced than we used to. Huge productivity increase. 
Okay, going on time. Six question, dairy cows are up 89%. Uh, per cow production has, because we've got this big increase, has it gone down 15%, increased 15% or gone up 30%? So any takers for a decrease in per cow production because of this huge increase in cow herd? No? Okay, 15% increase. Any takers? Okay, you have to pay up. It's a 30% increase per cow since 1990. So all that is, you know... Pretty good. So we've got a 150% increase in milk solid production since 1990. So what we've done is finally we've got agricultural exports have grown 16.4 billion. And it hasn't happened by chance, it's happened by the adoption of new technologies, genetics, management, marketing, market access. And all this has been underwritten by good science and R&D. So the only person to stand up now is Francis. And everybody put money, all the money you got left goes into the plate because of Francis and science, and it's really Russ Ballard and it's Anthony, all these things underwritten where our agriculture sector's gone. <laughs>